Good afternoon, everybody. All season with you again for another episode of Tinkering Thursday. Just heard the mail guy come by, and yes, as I expected, it looks like we got a pretty sure it's the oil filter for the KLR. So uh, today we got planned. We're gonna change the oil in the KLR, and we're gonna change the rear brake pad. I know I had said last time that I was planning on do the doing the front tire. Sorry, but I did put it on without you guys. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, two days ago I went for a bike ride and I actually got a flat tire on the front, so it was kind of perfect timing to do so. So, uh, did change that two days ago. So, anyhow, time to get to changing the oil and the brakes. First thing you need to do before you change the oil is warm the engine up. Uh, so, you gotta warm the engine up to make the oil scrub the oil. You don't have to, but it'll scrub the oil, and if there's any particles, you'll get rid of them uh, down at the same time when it's all stirred up. So, uh, Anyhow, there's only one good way I know about how to warm up an engine. Let's go for a bike ride. So let's get changed and go get that done. Cheers. That engine should be nice and warm now, so uh, got a Siletto oil filter, something I got off Amazon, no idea if it's good or not. Got brake pads, only need to change the rear ones, not sure which ones go. And then I got my tool kit off the KLR, so uh, like I say, try to use the tools that are on your bike. So first thing, first thing you need to do is drain the oil. Let me show you guys and explain you guys something. There you go, there's my oil plug. Mine is an Allen key because I got the low profile oil plug because uh, the stock one actually sticks past the skid plate, which is not good for banging against rocks. So just so you know, yours might be different. So anyhow, first thing, let's drain the oil. Oh yeah, a few rags can also come in handy too. Next, this should be where our oil filter is hidden. At least I think, it's been a while. Just try to clean around your cover a bit first so that you alleviate any dirt going inside there. filter put that in there and uh, always pay attention uh, which direction it came out so you put the new one the same direction and we'll clean up all that old oil in there get as much uh, fresh stuff as we can looks like the filter is unidirectional I did notice that there is this uh, pin that was in the old one put that back in place So 
same as everything. I'm gonna clean up the inside of this cover. Gonna go spray this with some brake clean, tidy it up, and I'll be right back. Okay, clean as the whistle as they say. So uh, got the oil filter in, and uh, I'm not sure if you had noticed when I took it off, but uh, this little arrow, that little arrow was pointing upwards. So I'm gonna make sure it's uh, pointed upwards when we put it in. And of course, because it's a Kalar, I'm gonna put some Loctite on these, uh, put some blue Loctite on these bolts. So, just so you know, in my kit, I do carry the red stuff just because if I'm on the trail, I might need extra strength. So, I'm just gonna go get the blue stuff from the garage, but on the trail, I like using the red stuff. My justification for the red stuff in my uh, bag is for if you have a bolt that's kinda stripped, barely holding on by treads, the little red might give it that little extra that you need to get back home. So. And make sure to tighten both of these uh, evenly. Just keep watching your gap on your cover. Okay, and I could put a drain plug back in now and refill it, but uh, it's still dripping. So while it's still dripping, what we're gonna do, do our brakes, and that way, if it takes us 10 minutes to do that, that's the 10 minutes of extra old oil that's dripping out. So just kinda try to get as much fresh oil in there as we can. Brakes, you got a. The brakes, you got a two Allen bolts in there. I'm gonna use my Allen key again. Not gonna lie, this is pretty tiny for this. I really think I'm going to install this. Uh, let me see what size it is, if I can tell you. Not sure. It doesn't say on it, but uh, thinking about figuring out which size it is, and then put it for my actual ratchet in there, because as you can see, it is pretty common size on a KLR. So. I'll, I'll write down somewhere around here what size this Allen key is. Yeah, I'm off to get the socket. Okay. Don't need to write it down, just so you guys know, it's a uh, six millimeter. Okay, next we just remove, uh, see how you remove these brake pads. This one just comes out. Okay, next step, uh, you already removed one brake pad. Remove this one, you just push on these two plungers. If need be, you might want a set of uh, channel locks. There we go, that should be pushed in enough. Brake pad comes out. And we got some EBC ones. I've heard some pretty good stuff about them, so uh, made in USA. Next, put our new brake pads in, same way that they uh, came out. We'll put the outside one first. Try to push this little uh, thing out. Might have to. Uh, a little bit. There we go. Oh, and one thing I forgot. Forgot to uh, compress the piston back in. So yeah, I push the piston back in. I'm going to go get myself a clamp and a socket and push that in. Not sure how well you can see. That piston's going in no problem at all. Ah, almost too easy. Stuff is falling apart here. There we go, should be all pressed in. Move all this stuff out now. Put our new brake pads. Get in there. And the other one. And try to jiggle this back. Again, might need uh, a little uh, pry. There we go. And now we should uh, break back in place. 
should uh, go right back in place. Go. And again, because it's a Kalar, what do you put on these? Loctite. There you go. Already our brake pedal feels a lot better. And if you have a short memory, you might have wanted to put that drain plug in right after you did the oil drain because you don't want to go for a bike ride now after changing the brake pedal, you're going to have forgotten to put the oil in. So back to the oil change. Our drain plug, clean that up. Not too, too much uh, metal particles on it, which is nice to see. And uh, I know I don't, but uh, I know I don't. But it's never a bad idea to consult your manual uh, for the torque specs. I just go by feel, but I've done it once or twice. So, but I do recommend recommend using a torque spec if you can. All right, we got one more step to do. Actually, two more steps to do. But, uh, next step is uh, put some oil. I can't remember how much they recommend, but this time I, I decided to spoil ourselves. We are going with some royal purple. Is this supposed to be good. Yeah, uh, Royal Purple Motorcycle Oil, so, uh, anyhow, oh yeah, uh, they do recommend 10W40, which I normally carry, but, uh, looking at some forums, I've seen some people who recommend 20W50, so, I don't know, I'll just give it a shot anyhow and see what happens, so. I don't think I put Loctite on this, uh, oil cap. I'm going to use a funnel just because otherwise I know I'll make a mess everywhere. Not sure how much this sashi takes, but uh, after a quart, just going to cant it to the, have the bike level and take a peek through the inspection hole and then we'll go from there. I actually do see on the side of the crankcase it does say 2.5 liters, so it's a possibility that this takes 2.5 liters. We'll find out. Well, actually, two quarts brought us pretty much right at the top, so I'm happy with two quarts. 2.5 liters, that, that's false advertising. But mind you, uh, after we started up and it filled up the oil filter a bit, then we might have to top it up a little bit, so keep our eye on that. Okay, well, just finished our oil change and rear brake change. Would have done the front brakes, but they're good to go, so only one thing left to do, and that's a quick bike ride montage.
as you can see, just got back from our KLR or War Machine bike ride. Gotta say, it feels good to be back on the bike again. I had a great time. So, anyhow, hope you guys had a great time watching this video as much as I had a good time making it. Hope you guys learned a thing or two. So, uh, till next time, uh, remember to Hulk smash that like button down there. Share, subscribe, live everybody, and cheers.